Welcome to Who Wants to Be a Rainbow Six Siege Millionaire with a man, my contestant today, who's had more events worked than I have years on this planet. Milos the Medic to use his government name. How are you feeling today to use all those events and experience that you've worked to try and win a million? Look, I think the bar was set very low. First of all, have, thank you for having me on the show. But two, I think uh, Fabian set the bar quite low. So I'll see if I can beat him. He's someone who thinks himself to be the biggest brain in this game. So I think that's the that's where I'm setting my uh, my potential to. Milos, are you ready to play? I think I was born ready at this point. Let's get into your hundred pound question. The Six Invitational 2023 was won by which team? A G2, B Revan, C T T9, or D Luminosity? Okay, we're softballing the first one. I will choose A, G2, and I will lock in my answer. You could go away with nothing for the first hurdle. But of course you haven't. E2, correct. And moves you on to the 500 pound question. A. The name of which US state is also a playable map in Siege? A, Oregon, B, Nevada, C, Alabama, or D, Ohio? I don't even want to know what an Alabama map would look like in <laughs> Siege or in any game, to be very honest with you. I think uh, I think the closest thing would be like Hunt Showdown at that level, but it's A, Oregon. 500 pounds. A. And we're moving on to the last chance that you can go away with nothing. A 1,000 pound question coming up. Which team has won both Gamers 8 tournaments held for Siege so far? AW7M, BG2, CBDS, or DM80? I was there at one of them. It's CBDS. I'll lock my answer. Last chance you could go home with nothing. But it's not the case. Milos, a thousand pounds locked in the bank for you today. It's the minimum you could go home with. And it's a successful start. No lifelines used on the easy questions, but this is where things ramp up just that tiny little bit. Two thousand pounds. Question number four. Ex NAL player Drip Boolan, who most recently coached Mirage in the NAL, went by what? Previous alias. A. Jolton, B. Mohesi, C. M. King, or D. Yardi? I think I know where the. where the at least Reddit uh, naming scheme uh, came from. Um, M. King is a Brazilian player. Mohesi, I don't know what that is. And Jolton is an old NA player, I believe, but I don't know if they're still active or whatever, or even in there. Honestly, it all skips my mind. Um, I will lock in D, Yardi. D, Yardi, process of elimination there. You weren't sure about Mahesi? But of course it is. Uh, Yardi gets you two thousand pounds Mahesi was or uh Mahesi and Jolton both um previous NACL players um, uh, I, I've mistaken. heard of Jolton but not of Mahesi there we are uh moving up swiftly now four thousand pounds next up on the board Who hosted the first ever PC Pro League Finals back in Year 1, Season 1, in Cologne? Ian Chambers Parker in Terra Mackay Harry Demo Dempster or Matt Andrews? I lock in D, Matt Andrews. This is kind of your forte, this one. Yeah, I should, I should get this one. Matt Andrews. Does he win you 4,000? I've, I've been to that studio and uh, I can tell you it, uh, yeah, it's, it doesn't exist anymore, but uh, it definitely has a different feeling than events do, that's for sure. Well, with how small it was. 
Yeah, it, it fit like maybe 30 people that sat on side benches. That was a fun time. Wow. <laughs> How far we've gone. Yes, I know. To massive arenas. Look at the uh, the Sao Paulo arena that it, from mm -hmm. the from the pictures. Oh yeah. Eight thousand pounds now. Question six. The money starts doubling, but the questions start getting slightly more difficult. But my question to you is: Did I pass Fabian? Well, Fabian went away with one thousand pounds by getting the sixteen thousand pound question wrong. So you huh. could still cool. go down. You could still fall down to one thousand until you get to thirty-two thousand. You can walk away with the money, but we don't want to do that. We want to get to. Can the I million. walk away with a million? Like actually, because that might buy me like a garage of a house in current day. Yeah, well, so, is, if that's what you're going to do with the money, then then let's get you there. I don't know who, who can afford anything at this point. <laughs> Very true. Well, eight thousand pounds might be able to afford you a window. Let's see if you can get that window. Which player holds the LAN best of five kill record at fifty-seven kills? A. Shiko. B. Cyber. C. Pambazoo. Or D. Spoit. A land best of five kill record. Um, Spoit didn't have much good time with that, I'll say, outside of Berlin. And even then, it was a kind of meh performance versus, you know, the rest of the team. I mean, I say meh performance in comparison to everybody else and the fact that the team won. So everybody was pulling their weight. Um, uh, Cyber Zero. So Cyber, not really Brazilian player. Um, didn't get, I think... Did they play for MIBR um, at, at some point? Is this how it is? I, it's been too long. Uh, Pambazu, North American player. Uh, quite good, but 57 kills. What The only opportunity to pull that off properly would have been, what, Charlotte Major a year-ish ago? A year -ish ago? Yeah. And Shaiko is Shaiko. I don't think anybody needs to explain that. I think if there's anybody that would have gotten it, it would be Shaiko. I know the singular map record is what, 27? Or the, yeah, is it singular map 27? That's not even possible, maybe. Um, you know you, what? You're I struggling? believe in Europe. You've got three no, lifelines. No, no. I, I think even if I use the 50 50, I would still be stuck between two but i'm i'm gonna believe in europe and i'm gonna put it on shaiko hey is that your final answer that is my final answer <laughs> why did you say so british <laughs> i i don't know i'm trying shaiko has been locked in land best of five kill record who holds it cyber Cyber holds what? the kill record. 57 oh, no. kills against NIP in the Sweden Major Final. Shaiko got 56 oh, no. against Team Liquid in Jonkoping. Cyber also got 56 <laughs> in the Berlin Major Final. Um, but yeah, Cyber pips it by one kill in a best of five. Uh, look, what would be the next question? I'm just curious. Well, I'm for, just very curious. for the viewers at home, we'll continue going on to the million and we'll see if you had got this question correct, then would you have reached all the way? Would you have got the I, other I tied with questions? Fabian. I yes. tied with Fabian. You tied that's, that's with Fabian. But you went out on one question earlier, so I feel like the bragger of rights is going to really, <laughs> really I lay it, it on you. I think the yeah. end result is what matters, and we're both at 1,000, yeah. so that's the it. The game is the game. You both go home with 1,000. But for you at home... If you did get cyber correct, let's see if you can carry on up the ladder. So question number seven for 16,000 pounds. Which team played the most maps at the Six Invitational 2023? AG2, BW7M, C Australis or D BDS? Nobody remembers BDS SI23. 
I think that's that's one thing. W7M quite far, obviously, um, but they did have an easier time in the group stage. Uh, Astralis played quite a bit and had, if I remember, quite tight games also. Um, I think so. I'm gonna lock it in. Astralis C played the most maps at SI23. Final answer. Final answer. They mentioned G2. I I don't know. I think they they had an easier time. They they had a slightly easier time, but they got knocked down into the lower bracket at the first hurdle by Wolves, mm -hmm. and then in their lower bracket run made it to the grand final. They knocked out Astralis even mm -hmm. in the fourth game. placed game, but because Astralis not got knocked out in the fourth placed game, it meant G2 played another best of three against OXG, and then a best of five ending in four maps against W7M, which pushed them to 30 maps, Astralis ending on 25. So this was the piece where um, people couldn't believe that G2 lost the Wolves. I remember the, the stress at that point. We couldn't, we couldn't believe what was happening in front of us. Uh, it, but, was, yeah, I, it was I like 8-7, 8-6. So well. G2 Wolves game that G2 lost, 8-7, 8-6. It was incredibly close. I think that, that game was even referenced multiple times as there's no way with G2 losing to Wolves that... G2 would go on to win everything. Like, you know, we're calling it, like, it's over. Yeah. But uh, honestly, if it weren't for Fabian being there, I think G2 would have been eliminated right there and then. Well, question number eight for 32,000. We're moving on now for you at home. Milos is still here to give his big brain. Kansan's iconic 1v4 clutch on bank open area with smoke at SI2022 was for Sonics against which team? A, Damwon Kia, B, MIBR, C, Furia, or D, Sandbox Gaming? The team everybody believed in, and it was the only team that, um, that people were thinking, holy hell, this is the hope for APAC, other than Elevate. And it was both Damwon Kia and, um, and Elevate, that were the big hopes. Now, Elevate couldn't do it. Demon Kia was smashing through everybody, and the only team that could stop APAC was Sonics. I think I'm going to lock in A, Demon Kia. Final answer? Final answer. Demon Kia, does it get everyone at home, and potentially you, Milos, if, uh, if those two questions had gone your way, to the second lifeline? It's, a, it's an iconic, it's an iconic clip. I mean, there's no two ways around it. Hansen is an incredible player, and the fact that that one v four happened, uh, defending an open area, he was in the in the kitchen area. There was a, a breach through the wall that he used his advantage. It's it's incredible. I can't believe he pulled it off, and genuinely not a single person that was there could not even Kansan himself. I'll be honest. I go back and watch that clip very often because just everything about it in, in Tero's casting obviously the clutch itself and then the reaction from all the other Sonics players because that was to win the map so they all mm -hmm. stood up took their headphones off got around Kanzan and he was just sat there at his keyboard holding F defusing <laughs> yep it press was... F run back press F please for the love of God don't make us lose it it, it was a great moment it was brilliant the only team that could stop that one key under tracks it's mm -hmm. incredible and that would have uh, that would have sent it to overtime. Who knows what would have happened in overtime? They would have moved on to the to the big stage, the real big one. Oh yeah. The only other team that have, has gotten deeper was Norengo, and Fnatic one level before because Norengo knocked out Fnatic. Yeah. That was SI 2019, first one in a big arena. Oh yeah, because yeah, because I remember because both APAC teams made it to main stage but then got drawn yep. against each other. And the next time they got drawn, two APAC teams got drawn against one another was the Yavle Major in November 2021, where unfortunately, by my own hand, it drew Sandbox versus Damwon Kia. <laughs> but that also allowed us to have the FaZe versus Damwon game, which 
Holy yeah. hell, that we was one were, of the best games ever. We were treated to that one. Mm -hmm. So, question number anyway. nine for 64,000. This is where the money and the questions start to get all that more higher. Higher for a difficulty? Yeah. 64,000 pounds. How many six invitational grand finals have, we, have featured two teams from the same region? Zero, one, two, or three? I'd just like to clarify because I didn't state in the rules at the start, this does not include Xbox. Mm -hmm. This is in exclusively PC. Exclusively PC from the start of the game, the current day. So two teams from the same region and exclusively on PC. Okay. SI Grand let's, Finals. Let's take it back to 2017. 2017 was in the final. That was... Um, what was Canadian's team? Um, I don't remember. Continuum. So that's Continuum. And I don't remember who played. Let's skip forward. This is my process of elimination. So SI 2018, two teams from different regions, EU and Cool. We go to um, SI 2019, that had um, that had two teams from the same region, two European teams that, that played there. That was G2 and Team Empire. Legendary game. Every SI is legendary games. Uh, SI 2020 Grand Final, two teams from two different regions, SSG and NIP, Brazil and NA. We go to SI 21, that had two teams from the same region, two Brazilian teams, Liquid versus NIP, NIP victorious. SI 22 had EU versus NA, Empire versus TSM, TSM winners. SI 23 had also two teams from different uh, from different regions so it's now thinking of 2017 who played against continuum mm, penta weren't there um esg were there but they got knocked out earlier um sisu got eliminated early very early um, so I think it was was it am I am I dumb I think it was 2017 2019 and 2021 so I will lock in d3 final answer 2017 is the crutch for me if if I were to do something I would pull off a um Mm. Liquipedia 30 seconds. Let's just use yeah. it. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you've decided to use your Liquipedia 30 seconds. Give it time you. starts. Continuing era, so I am correct. D3 is what I lock in. Alright, so D3, final answer. D3, I lock it in. It's the only event I, I was watching from home. The only SI, so I, I think ERA versus CTM is the third we are from the same region match. Congratulations, Milos. Very well done. Very well thought out and thought through. Yep, so NIP against Liquid at SI21, G2 against Empire at 2019, and then Continuum against Error Eternity at SI2017. Error Eternity, the what NI qualifier team. £128,000. Dreamhack Austin 2018 was won by which team? A. Team Vitality. B. Millennium. C, IDK, or D, Cloud9? All right, so 
Cloud9 won DreamHack Montreal in 2018, which was around mm, maybe four or five months after DreamHack Austin. Um, Team Vitality did not win a DreamHack, however, they qualified to the Paris Major through DreamHack Summer, which was in, uh, um, in Valencia, where IDK, Leon Giddes' old team before they transformed into Rogue, won. But Vitality were, didn't care about winning at that point, they were in that grand final against IDK. Um, and Millennium won DreamHack Austin, they played against EG, and EG famously threw so hard uh, in the game, and Renshiro played incredibly well, staying on a window the entire time, which is what he really does well. So that was Millennium win. I lock in B. You eliminated every other team. Millennium, did they win Dream Hackos in 2018? You knew they did. Yes, yeah, so Millennium beat EG 2 1 in the final. Vitality never won DreamHack, as you said, but reached the final against IDK, who won Valencia 2018, and then C9 won Montreal. Very well done. That's that's where your experience of working pretty much every event in this time frame comes in handy. It didn't help with the numbers, because I tell you, I know the history, but if you tell me numbers, that's that's why we have analysts, and then yeah. I'm a host that doesn't do numbers and as much anymore. That's uh, that's what Fabian said yesterday. He had a he had a question about um, who had the most kills at Copenhagen 2020. And he said, "I just know who won, and I just know that we got knocked out. I don't really care. But look at stats." <laughs> yep, that, that's how that's how it usually goes, especially him, because he's an analyst that talks about gameplay specific things yep. and strategy and history of teams and players against one another whereas you know people like fresh and Anne are very much detailed into the numbers and analyzing numbers because that's what they do they're you know one's a teacher uh at least next teacher i.e Anne, and fresh is a uh, accountant so they're mm -hmm. very good at numbers uh but we are good at selling the image of the numbers that's yeah. the other part of it well it, it works as a brilliant dynamic doesn't it yeah, that's true very much so. So, quarter of a million. Only three questions away now for everyone at home. Is the question. Excluding maps which have not yet hit 50 times played, e.g. Nighthaven, which is the most attacker-sided map of all time in Tier 1 play? A border. B bank. C coastline. D chalet. As of this moment, mm. All right, now you're getting me into the numbers, and that's why I really suck. Um, you can also base it off feeling. Yeah, that's that's probably we're gonna have to you know vibes base this one maybe. Uh, I know CGG will have the answer for me. I just don't know if thirty seconds are enough for me to, to look for it. Um, okay, look. Uh, Chalet had a um, higher attacker side win rate, but that's only because in the beginning people played Snowmobile a lot for some dumb reason and they stopped doing it. So, with that part, Chalet went down to a more normalized state, and with more and more regions playing it, i.e., Brazil, which sucked at attacking the map things worked out and it bounced up yeah so coastline was um was also slightly attacker sided um, but that's been a while ago and with kind of reworked bits of it it normalized that's with all things yeah uh bank very site dependent defenders will will win a bit more often the basement but that also depends it all depends border historically known as more attacker sided but honestly these are all toss-ups so it's between whichever actually is up there so i'm going to use the 50 50 yeah. and see how that actually goes okay we'll lock in the 50 have ideas 50. computer can you take away two randomly selected wrong answers 
Probably on coastline. I'll lock in C coastline. Final answer? Final answer. Coastline. Does it hit the quarter of a million? But only slightly. See, that's the thing. Like, the maps are only slightly in favor of one of the other. Yeah. And that's it. It's it, These are the only bits and numbers there, I remember. And the, the thing that skews people's understanding of which maps are more attacker or defender sided are specific sites that are more in that way. But yeah. then you have to normalize it for all the regions and then add in events where things are very wild. And then suddenly you're like, actually, it's really 50 50. Yeah, I think you were you were very smart in in noticing that there was a period after the chalet rework where teams just really sucked at attacking it and it really brought the the win rate down. So if you at home, Coastline has a 50.6% attacker win rate in its history inside of the map pool, obviously not been in recently. Chalet 49.5, so only about 1% difference. Then Border going down to 48% and Bank 477 so the numbers are close. There's only 3% in it between the three maps, but you are right. There are certain sites which are just that little bit harder, um, which bring the, the win rate for the attackers down. So the penultimate question, question number 12, here it comes. Which of the following players never played for Obey Alliance in NA? A Skies, B Bosco, C Grixa, or D Retro? Mm. So, Obey Alliance was the era of uh, 2018 until just before the end of it. Well, was it until SI 2018, if I'm not uh, misremembering? And they played at the Paris Major, and they had a pretty cool run until they hit Rogue in the quarterfinals. And that was on the main stage. And I remember casting that in French, because I was brought on because I, I casted all of Pro League, and the French casters needed the help from somebody who actually knew a bit about the region. I was and there listening to you in French. You were you were there I in was, in Paris. I was right? at the Paris Major, yes. Um, but the in-house so, casting was all in French, so I had no idea what was going on. But for the screens, yeah, that that's just um, French regulations. Uh, they do require, uh, if not the full broadcast to be in French in the arena in France, at least to have um, live on-demand broadcasting in French, which means you have to buy uh, earphones. They have to be provided in the space. Anyways, uh, local politics aside, um, or at least international ones aside, Skies played for Obey Alliance. Uh, Bosco played for Obey Alliance. It was great to see Bosco uh, squad then, unless I'm completely wrong. <laughs> In which case, no. Uh, Retro at that time. So I think Grixer was part of it, but that's one part I'm not sure of. Uh, Retro at that time was playing with Cloud9. And this is the uh, Paris Major through to SI 2018 era where earlier, earlier we talked about how Cloud9 won a Dream at Montreal and I think late October, early November, no, it has to be earlier, September of 2018. So Retro was not part of it. And that's what I will lock in, Retro D. D retro, half a million. Ah, hey. oh, really well done. I think. Uh, I think that was a question that I think a, a few people would have come to Skies and Bosco, but Grixer would have been the the unknown with Retro. Um, but yeah, Grixer was on Obey Alliance uh, just before the core of the roster moved on to E United. Yep. And then um, from E United, the team was folded into the Sonics yes. that we know today. Yeah, doing better than Fabian. That's what it gives me. We both are at a thousand, but I think I think I've hit more of the more difficult questions as we went through it. So I, I'll take that. 
So, will all that knowledge and potentially you're going to be scared of a stat question for question number 13. But oh, here it Lord. is. For a million. Paris Major was won by G2, 6-2, 6-2, 6-2, which is the only other six major grand final to not feature an overtime. A six major, so any major since, obviously, the first, okay. Ooh. The Mexico major, the Sweden major, the Jonkoping major, and the Copenhagen major. One of these is the only other Six major grand final to not feature an overtime. Okay. So I need to first of all remember who who won uh, Mexico. Uh, because I, I I wasn't there, and I was working something else. So I kind of just skimmed and watched a bit. What happened in Mexico? Um, so Sweden, Sweden final was um, all Brazil, right? It was a uh, Nip versus Face Clan. Uh, they have an overtime. We all remember the phase v dam one game, but that was in the in the semis. Um, was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there was was it BDS on the other side also that got eliminated by by NIP. I think that's how it went. Yun Shiping twenty twenty two had uh, BDS in the final against Team Liquid. Um, BDS had an easier time because Liquid ran out of steam. They kind of let it all out on W7M. Um, I believe that was the one that didn't have an overtime, if I remember correctly. Copenhagen was a W7M, and I can't even remember who played who they played against. I'm not gonna lie, it's all very hazy. Copenhagen. Um, there's a lot that happened over those two weeks. Yeah. Uh, so my my brain was like, hey, what? Which was it? There's like four things that I was doing in that span of two weeks. Um, but I, I know like W7M, sure, but who did they play against? I don't even remember. It was all Brazil. Um, Mexico is the only one that completely flies under the radar for me. But all of that could be remediated with a 30 second uh, addition. Now I believe before before I use up any of the aids because I do still have one left. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe personally that it is C Yun Sherping BDS versus Team Liquid. If I remember correctly, Liquid ran out of steam in that final very quickly, and BDS just kind of took it. But I may be wrong, so I will use my 50/50 or sorry my my Liquidpedia 30 seconds, and that should kind of give me the win through it. <laughs> We'll see how it goes. If I can do it in 30 seconds, even. Time starts now. Six Mexico major. Uh, please give me final. Where is it? Results. Uh, yeah, team one. Holy hell. Um, completely forgot about that. And that had one, okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Time up. Ah. Uh, and I will use walk in C into me. C, final answer. Final answer. A million's on the board. You could buy a very nice house with it. And even a car if you wanted.
I think 11 out of 13 is not bad. Okay? Yes, I, very 11 impressive. out of 13, very it's not impressive. bad. I don't ask for the million. I would even ask for half a million. If I get away with 100k, I'll be happy with it. That's consolation. Well, you you want to average it out. So you actually did a 1,000, but you did end up getting to a million. So we'll meet halfway. <laughs> Not even. I'm. I'm willing to to negotiate. I am. Okay. A, if, okay. If anything, a negotiator. I have to, I'll have to manage my own self. So I have to we'll speak to the, pro the producers about that one. Look, the producers are nice people. I think. I think they they have an open heart. Plus, you know, it's a it's a nice story and everything. Redemption. We'll be fine. But that's. I mean, honestly, I'm. I'm pretty happy with my result. Yeah. I'm. I thought that I would do way worse than that. Um, uh, how did Fabian do? So I know he. Got so a thousand. Fabian got, I think, five total wrong. Um, he ended up with a thousand, but I think he ended up getting five total wrong. Um, maybe six. Uh, I'll have to fact check it. But mm -hmm. you, you definitely, you definitely bested uh, Fabian's uh, total number. Correct. Um, so I want that. Yeah. I want that as a as a, as a clear point of victory. Well, you got, the, make you got sure the hardest to... questions correct. That, that's, the, that's the most impressive thing. The only two you got wrong were 8,000 and 16,000. Yep. Yep. As the questions got tougher, I, I got better. And I walked you through my, my way of thinking yep. and process of elimination to make sure that even if I land the right one after using one of my lines, that I would have used my noggin for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Trust me, this thing up here doesn't get used that often. And uh, it was today. I think you have, uh, you have made me think more than I have had in, in months. Thank you for that. <laughs> well, I like to challenge people. I like myself to be challenged. And I think it's, uh, it's fun, to, fun to sometimes, you know, try and, try and get into the archives of your brain and see what you, you actually can remember. After today's Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, Miloshi will be walking away with £1,000. But it, it wasn't in vain because you ended up getting 11 out of the total 13 questions correct. So really good uh, display of knowledge and your you, remembering the knowledge was even more impressive because Fabian also had the knowledge but couldn't necessarily recall it. So congratulations to you. Did you match Miloshi's record at home? Let me know down in the comments, and if you enjoy this sort of series, then uh, let me know. Leave a like. Um, thank you once again, Milos, for being my contestant. It was an absolute pleasure having you on today, and I really enjoyed you working through your brain and uh, trying to meticulously work out the answers. Thank you for having me, Kenny. It was a fun time, and honestly, I'm just glad that I beat up Fabian, and I'm going to go and message him right after we're done with this and gloat and... Uh, Prepare for the next two weeks of me gloating uh, through the major and the co-streams, and you know we'll see we'll see how all that all that goes. And I'm really curious if somebody could get all 13 questions of this one because honestly, the num the the ones that I failed were very close, but they're quite tough. Yeah, I've uh, I've had Jazzman um, from NA say he could yeah. he could 100% hit 13 out of 13. So. I've, uh, I've accepted the challenge and I'll, and I'll get him on to see if he can put the money where his mouth is. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, thank you everyone for watching. Have a good day and uh, go and check out Milosh's post stream of the major. Are you streaming every single game? And uh, every single day we'll be doing at least three games. It depends. We'll be posting a schedule, I think, later today for the first games tomorrow. I mean, this is the Monday when mm -hmm. it's recorded, but. For each day, we'll be posting the day before the games that we will be covering the day after so that everybody kind of has expectations because there's too many games. Yeah. And to sit there and stream for, what, 13 hours every day is just not feasible without my wife getting very, very angry with Especially uh, with the angry with time me. zone difference going into, like, yeah. 5 a.m. for us. Yeah, so that, that would be nigh impossible. We'll be doing as much as we can. Um, but, you know, obviously within the realm of reason, uh, given where we are in Europe compared to the event happening in NA. Lovely. Well, have a good day and thank you all for watching. Thanks so much.